I'm stretching out to touch that faith promise that he has given me, that all is well. Now, I know it's well. I've no problem about the ultimate. That is totally and absolutely in the hands of God. But specifically for what the doctors have said against me. For Lord, I believe. Bless thou my unbelief. Help me, Lord, to believe you upon your word alone. Glory to your name. Folks, I'm just saying this to release some of you from the condemnation the enemy's got you under about what faith is. All it needs is for us to step out of doubt and unbelief and to say, Lord Jesus, this morning, I believe that your grace is going to be released upon me. We have a better covenant on better promises. And often we waver concerning the promises. We look at the situation and feel that our body is as good as dead. But it said Abraham did not waver concerning the promise. We have not been this way before. So don't look at me for all the answers, but I will try and be out the front of what's happening. Yeah, I will try and be there to follow, but I haven't got all the answers. I'm just trying to hear God like you're trying to hear God. But if we walk the journey together, then we'll go in together and there'll be more of us who've got the touch of God to be able to carry and administer what God is going to do. I want to be part of it. Uh, I have seen so many things as God sees them. Uh, but I don't have the grace to deal with them as God deals with them. And I'm finding it extremely difficult, almost to the point where I said to Chris this morning, if, if this is what climbing the hill of the Lord and coming before the very throne of God means, I don't know if I like it. What discouragement really is rooted in is not what you think it's rooted in. Oh, well, you know, so-and-so said this and I became very discouraged. That is not where your discouragement came from. So when I become disconnected from truth, righteousness, when I become disconnected from the plan of God for my life, I become discouraged. So does that therefore suggest that when we become discouraged, it is a failure in our spirituality? Yes. Really, the church is just a spiritual hospital. It doesn't surprise me that we have people in church who struggle with all kinds of things. You're in the best place, guys. Don't run away because of it. Stay here because of it and get the deliverance of God. And thank God for good sex and godly marriage. <gasps> I believe there's an X that marks the spot to find the treasure of life. The X that I'm talking about is the cross that Jesus died on 2,000 years ago. I know what that person was, but look what the grace of God has done in that life. I want you to know if you're around this house today, you don't need to know the details, but you need to know that in this house today are lots of people whose lives have been touched by that wonderful grace of God. Previously at Communicating Life. It's all a matter of perspective. I guarantee you and promise you, I did not pee in that lady's bag. Shalom is about the presence of the goodness of God. It is impossible to change the future without disturbing the present. I'm not who I thought I was, but I can become who I've never been. And has left this bit in as he is affectionately known. Chapman is a man who often struggles with issues of value and inadequacy. This regularly develops into an overwhelming sense of self-loathing. I have been introduced by grace to find my hope in only one source. I do not pastor a mega church. I'm not on TV broadcasting to millions, nor am I an apostle to tens of thousands in the nations of the earth. I do not have my own radio show or feature in the Christian press. I have for the last 20 years been trying to lead a wonderful crowd of people at the Rock Church, York, England. Be a good husband to my wonderful wife, Chris, which I've not done very well at that, and become at some point a great father to our children, Joel and Connie. That remains a consistent struggle. I am a man who is trying to live daily under the loving gaze of a compassionate father and experience the grace and mercy that flows to me regardless of all my weakness and failure. I am a man locked into discovering in each moment the relentless tenderness of Jesus, hoping that each day Christ might be proud 
to write his signature over my life. If you want to be a miserable, downtrodden, defeated believer, that's fine, don't listen to me. You know, just hang on till you die or Jesus comes, but that is not my intention in life. I want to be victorious in life. I want the joy of the Lord that is my strength to invade my very being. I want the healing that comes from the cross to work here because it's no good to me in heaven. There's no sick people. I see the provision of the Lord begin to flow into my life and into the house so we can bless the nations because I don't need that in heaven, but God says I can see it now. God wants to bless you in every dimension of your life. Well done, Anth. <laughs>